Coach Painter. Yeah, hey, Matt. Um, hey, Brian. There weren't a lot of turnovers, obviously. You got through the first seven or eight minutes of the game without turning it over. Even when you did turn it over, it wasn't the passing and catching stuff. It wasn't the loose with the basketball stuff. Just this seems like what your team is offensively when they just don't turn the ball over. Is that fair to say? Yeah, you know, you're going to get yourself, you know, better opportunities, more opportunities, but, you know, because um, you're taking care of the ball. So we didn't have any turnovers today from our guards at all. And uh, that's, that's quite an accomplishment. I mean, you know, you have six guards that you played and they had no turnovers. And we had a couple turnovers from um, one of our fours. And then we had three, I think three turnovers from our fives. I think we had a team turnover in there. So, um, you know, just a good, good team win. And uh, you're, you're, you're going to have success when you out-rebound people and you have fewer turnovers. What's different about Eric this year? Um, you feel like he seemed like he was in pretty good command of this game offensively and then obviously did a great job defensively. Yeah. Um, you know, just making the normal progress. And obviously that got put on pause because of, you know, his injury. Mm -hmm. You know, he was really playing well in practice before game started. Then he got hurt. And, um, you know, now it's it, it takes time. You know, his first couple games he was so-so. And then he was much better in his last game. And then he's played better in – and uh, obviously he played better in this game than he did the previous game. So each game he's, he's been getting better, and that's what you want to see. Did you see anything different today in the second half from Miami? Because I think, I think it was Mason who just mentioned it, but they stopped every run when they had to stop a run, things like that. Yeah. Did they just carry themselves better, or did you see any lessons learned there or anything like that today? Yeah. Well, the ball went in. I think that's uh... – Anytime you make shots and you make plays, you're going to build more confidence. And anytime you, you know, take you, we, we had such a stretch, especially late in the game of ill-advised decisions and shots. Mm -hmm. And you have to do a better job of, of getting into, you know, high percentage action and, and take high percentage shots and make good decisions. And when you don't, you're not going to score the ball much. And it was one of those grinded out games that, you know, we didn't do a very good job grinding it out, especially late in the game defensively. And, you know, but hope, you know, you, you learn from it. But uh, today's games, you, you, can't, you can't compare it to the Miami game um, because when you're not shooting the ball well, there's just a feeling that you have to get over so you can still be productive because you don't feel good about yourself when the ball doesn't go in. The ball's going in for us in this game. And so even though they made runs and they came at us, it was a different flow to this game. But it was good to see our guys answer um, on the defensive end and on the glass and offensively. Um, I think you can answer runs, you know, a lot of different ways. But if you're if you're executing offensively and you're setting your defense, you're giving yourself a chance. They still had some looks, especially in the first half, that just didn't go down. We made a lot of mistakes, in the, especially in the first half. Our defense was better in the second half, um, but it still wasn't like, you know, out of this world. You know, we have to do a better job of not fouling. We have to do a better job of containing the dribble. Um, but they put you in a bind. Obviously, we had to guard Wirtz a certain way. And we made that decision. And we, we gave a lot of respect to everybody else. It wasn't that we didn't disrespect him, but he's just new on the scene. And so it was like a process of elimination almost in terms of who our five guarded. And then, you know, Joe Go comes and makes three threes too. And so the guys that you don't guard as well, you know, they made us pay. You know, good for them. They're good players. But they have a lot of people in front of them that score more and shoot more on their team. And – you know, that, that's just the decision we felt like we had to go in that direction. Uh, Prentiss Hub not scoring. Was that Eric? Was that your, your game plan? What what all kind of kind of went into – to kind of – Well, I think Eric did a good job on him. I think everybody that guarded him, and I thought our team, we switched a lot. So Eric guarded him the most, but everybody, you know, ended up guarding him. And just one of those games where he didn't get his head up and he didn't get going. And, um, you know, he didn't get a lot of cracks at it either. But they also were trying to go to their matchup some, you know, probably a lot more than they normally do. And it worked for them. You know, those, those, you know, Wirtz was, you know, very efficient, very productive tonight. So, um, but it was just one of those things that, you know, there's probably other variables that are involved that I don't know of. You know, it's always a combination of a lot of things when somebody struggles. But I do think, you know, Eric especially and the rest of our guys did a good job on it. I'm good. Thank you, Matt. Yep. Thank you. Uh, Mike Carmen. Just uh, the the contributions you're getting from Mason, what what's kind of uh, put him in put him in this position where he's you know the second half that he had tonight really kind of gave you a lift there early. Yeah, 
Yeah, good effort, man. Just you know, we we had talked about his effort that, that it wasn't always leading to production, but as he slowly starts to figure it out, like you know, his ability to rebound tonight, make some plays, make a couple shots. He's a good three point shooter, and so it was good to see him knock down a couple threes. And you know, hopefully, you know, he can he can get more cracks at it. Um, you know, as, as we go on. So um, I thought Aaron did a good job, you know, rebounding the basketball. So you think about, you know, your four men get, you know, they get a 16 rebounds. And uh, that, that, that's pretty impressive. So you can help um, in a lot of different ways. I, I know you said tonight wasn't like the Miami game because of the way the game was played. But for you guys, when they tied it at 53 to quickly answer the way that you did, right. is that, a, is that a, how much is that a step forward for this team to, to, yeah. to get back right, it, right after it? It was, you know, I, I think it is a, a good step forward because, you know, they put us in a position that we've been in before, whether it's a tie game, but it was just a different feeling because both teams were able to score the ball where the other game, neither team were really very efficient on the offensive end, obviously. Um, but it was good for us to, to be able to answer that and then have a run of our own after they tied it. And that's kind of the way games go. Like the game sometimes can seesaw, but we had a pretty good lead and then like, you know, the last five minutes of the half, you know, we had some things go against our way and some of it was self-inflicted. But um, but then the, the start of the second half, we had a couple good hustle plays. Mason was a part of those hustle plays. Um, you know, getting him, him getting that rebound to start the game when Eric Hunter missed the, the, the layup. It was a huge play. And then he got another put back in there and Travion got another offensive rebound. Those are some really good hustle plays. But when we tied it at that point, that's another one of those you know, where can this go? You know, if we, if they get a stop and they get a score and then they take the lead, you know, do they have a different feel to them? And we weren't able to let that happen. And then that was a kind of a pivotal moment of the game. Mike, you're right. He froze up. We did. Anyone else for coach Painter? Yeah, I had, I had Mike says he's good. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, well, I mean, Notre Dame was a lot, uh, able to get a lot of three-pointers and didn't always capitalize on them. But was that a decision that you guys made that you wanted to put emphasis on interior defense and sort of say, okay, we're going to take our chances with them out on the perimeter? Yeah, I, you know, we, we had some breakdowns. You know, anytime somebody scores 78 points, it's a lot of points. You know, we had breakdowns. And like I said earlier, they had some they had some good looks that I think they're going to live with in that first half. It just didn't go down. You know, we were trying to do our best to knock them out of any action by switching a lot, but we knew we were going to get into some vulnerable one-on-one -on -one matchups with their ability to break down some of our guys. And with that, we wanted to have help and then stop the ball off of certain guys and then be able to bounce off of other guys and get back to shooters and then just kind of kind of help the helper and try to slow that rotation down. I know it's hard to really explain everything, but um, that was really our thought process with it. We knew we were in a bind, you know, and, and Wirtz had an advantage, but I, we just didn't feel comfortable starting the game with Trey Vion and, you know, when they went small, I'd rather Wirtz go off than, you know, Lazuski go off, to be frank with you. You know, I know that might sound crazy, and he, but I just didn't want – him to have that matchup and then my biggest guy is constantly chasing three-point shooters out there but it ended up happening anyway just with a different guy and so but we we would we wanted him to prove it and obviously words proved it and you know that's you know kudos to him he's a good player but um we just felt like if we could bottle up hub and make it hard for him and try to stay home on the other guys and not let them have any pick and pop stuffs trying to get them to score in a different way in which they did, you know, I, I think they did some good things. Um, we just were able to, I just thought our offense was better than their offense is what it gets down to. We, we, we shot the ball better than they shot the ball. I mean, kind of look at it that way. Right, right. Uh, that tunnel run that Notre Dame had just to end the half, was that as simple as Notre Dame shots finally started falling or was it something more than that, you think? Yeah. Well, I think they, they made some shots and then we put them to the free throw line too. Um, Zach got a couple fouls and so that, transaction there it seems like we always have something and then you know he we get an illegal screen away from the ball on one possession and then we get a post up flagrant one foul and then we foul a couple other times and put him to the free throw line and then they make a couple plays and so like the combination of that 
that there's there's a run in itself. You know, that's probably ten points right there. Right. And you know, you, we just have to do a better job of not fouling. We got to do a better job of not, you know, fouling people away from the basketball or fouling people on post ups. Um, but we we just have to keep working on it. Right. You got into this a bit, but what is the biggest thing that you can take from this game now going into Iowa? That we didn't turn the ball over. You know, you give yourself a chance. People are like, well, you guys shot the ball a lot better. You gave yourself more of a chance. Like, you had a lot of possessions. You know, they had a lot of possessions. We had a lot of possessions. You're just giving yourself a chance to play the game. Like, when you're constantly turning the basket, we have 23 turnovers or 16 turnovers. It's, it's no fun to watch. It's no fun to coach. It's like, take care of the basketball. It's like, a, you know, it's a pillar of the game. You know, it's just like, you know, be able to go fast and be under control. And uh, no one's – no one's hindering you or handcuffing you by saying don't turn the ball over. It's just it's just something you have to be able to do. So that's what I'm taking away from it is that we got a bunch of guards that can play this game that are good shooters, that are good passers, that are good decision makers. But at times, you know, our shooting percentage goes down because we're turning the ball over or we're not making good decisions. And today we did. We did a much better job, and you see the results. Great. Thanks, Coach.